first important parameter that defines the performance of the battery is the voltage and it depends on the materials from which the electrodes are made. We can link it to the hay from which water falls in a reservoir from the top of the dam. The second is the current coming out of the battery, which we can control manually in the same way as the flow through the dam, which we can easily control by further opening or closing the gates. The power generated by the battery is the multiplication of both current and voltage and is measured in watts. It gives us an idea of the amount of work that the battery can perform per second or the energy we are able to convert from one form to another per second. The energy used is the multiplication of this power by the time the battery is operating and it gives us an idea of the work we have done during the whole time, for example to move a car or to light a street lamp and it is measured in watts hour. If we take into account the weight or the volume of the battery, we have the gravimetric energy density in watch hour per kilogram or watch hour per liter, which gives us an idea of the work we have done during the process per kilogram or liter. The battery capacity in ampere hour is the electrical charge we can store inside the battery. It gives us an idea of the maximum work on energy we have available to use. It is equivalent to the number of liters we can fit in a reservoir of water that we have ready to release and perform work or the number of the liters of gasoline we can fit in the tank of a car with a normal combustion engine. We can relate this capacity in amps per hour to the energy storms in watch hour through the work we can perform with this stored energy. For this, we use the voltage of the battery we were talking about at the beginning or the height of the dam from which the water falls. If we multiply the capacity of the battery in ampere hour by the voltage in volts, we get the energy in watch hour. How we use this energy depends on the power we request and the time. In the case of an electric car, we can relate it to the acceleration and the distance traveled. If we increase the power and accelerate more, we will travel fewer kilometers and the other way around. If we don't accelerate much, we will travel more kilometers. Due to the intrinsic properties of the materials we use for the manufacture of batteries, mainly the specific capacity, this is the charge they can accumulate, and the electrical and ionic conductivity, this is the speed with which that charge can move through the materials, power and energy are confronted magnitudes. When we improve one, we worsen the other. If we accumulated a lot of charges in the materials, electrons and lithium ions, they will move very slowly. It is like a highway with a lot of traffic. We will have a battery with a lot of energy but little power. And if we want charges to move very fast, we have to put very few of them. A highway with very few cars so that those who circulate do not obstruct each other and can go very fast. The charge and discharge rate, the C rate, refers to the current delivered by the battery and the time during which it can be supplied. Higher C rates imply higher currents and faster charging and discharging times. Power applications, a supercar that accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in 2 seconds, or a luxury car that we want to charge in 10 minutes, require very high C rates. This is high power batteries and therefore low energy ones. A family car to travel quietly constant speed and make very long trips without refueling would be an energy application and requires low C rates, like a dam. If we empty it quickly with very large water flows, the reservoir will get empty sooner. High charge and discharge rates, C rates deteriorate the system, reduce the battery capacity and battery life in terms of the number of charge and discharge cycles they can use. Just like the dam, torrential rains would fill the reservoir very quickly but would wear out and erode the system, causing much of that water to be lost and unusable. The same thing when water is released, it can cause damage to the system, flooding, if the water we release is more than what fits along the rivers or channels downstream. And all of these mechanisms will suffer more damage and will have to be replaced soon. We hope that after this series of videos, you all have a clearer understanding of the concepts of energy, power and battery capacity and do not confuse watch hour with ampere hour. Power is one thing, energy is another matter and capacity another completely different.